a lot of candidates were having issues to find our channel so search for nokri low when you will search for nokri low here youtube will ask you that searching result for the nokri login and search instead for nokri low so you have to click on the search instead for nokri low click here and the first channel what you will get here is the nokri low yeah your channel will be on the first when you will search for the nokri low okay so you have to subscribe to this channel and you will get the all contents of our channel okay so let's start this video hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to my channel nokri low this is your host debashish kumar and in this video i'm going to tell you that what would be a salary of a infosys employee if he stays in infosys for a long five years okay what would be your salary if you are planning to join infosys as a fresher and what would be your salary in coming one two three four or five years okay so let's start this video without any delay For this video, I have consulted a lot of Infosys employees, an employee who has worked for more than 5 years, an employee who have recently joined Infosys. I have taken all the notes and all the hints that what are the salary that they are getting and what are the increment that Infosys has provided them. So I have uh, summarized more than 10 employees of Infosys who are working as a fresher and who are still working in Infosys since a long 5 years. So uh, I have made a summarized video. So this is one of the authentic video and a real time video uh, which will uh, definitely tell you that what is the exact salary that you are going to get in the coming upcoming 5 years. Okay. So first when a fresher, when a fresher joins a Infosys, he gets a post of assistant system engineer trainee okay you are a trainee for the first training period uh, the training period will depend on Infosys and on you also that uh, how much fast can you learn the things that Infosys is uh, giving you training of those sort of things so uh, the maximum training period for Infosys fresher employees is six months okay uh, when you join Infosys they give, give you a uh, CTC of 25,000 per month so that is the CTC you will not get 25,000 there will be a deduction of a lot of things so basically you will get around 18,000 to 19,000 when you join Infosys and when you are in training period so when you are in training period you will get around 18 to 19,000 uh, I have talked to a lot of employees they are getting uh, 19,000 for their uh, training period and after the training period when you will be trained in Infosys uh, after the training you will have to qualify a FA examination FA examination you have to qualify that uh, when you qualify that FA examination with more than 65% of uh, marks then you will be the assistant system engineer the trainee word will be uh, removed from your tag name and you will be a system engineer so uh, first when you join the enforces you will become a, a trainee after mode uh, after six months you will be a system engineer assistant system engineer okay so uh, when the first year will start you will be having the package of 3.6 lakh after the training you will be having a package of 3.6 lakh okay. so as I have told you that to pass that FA examination you have to qualify that FA examination and if you qualify the FA examination with a lot of good marks if you qualify it with the if you are a top performer in the FA examination then you can also get 25,000 rupees bonus for the one time okay uh, so for the top for performer you will get the 25,000 rupees bonus that FA examination will uh, affect a lot in your future okay so if you pass the FA examination and if you are a top performer then your uh, in hand salary will be 25,000 around 25,000 okay if you are above average student then your uh, in hand salary per month will be 22 to 23000 if you are average employee then you will get the 20000 to 21000 and uh, on an average uh, each and every employee will get 22 to 23000 after that fa examination okay so that is for the period after the training he will remain in this package for one year so after one year he will be getting eight to ten percent of hike depending upon your performance in the previous uh, year okay your post your designation will be system engineer 
uh, before it was before the one year it was the assistant system engineer now after one year you will be, become the system engineer you will be getting a hike of 8 to 10 percent your ctc will be 3.9 lpa and your enhanced salary will be around 27000 to 28000 so after two years completion of the Infosys, uh, you will be getting the seven to eight percent of hike. Uh, your designation will change into the senior system engineer from the system engineer. Your CTC will become uh, 4.2 LPA, and your enhanced salary will be around 29,000 to 30,000. Okay, after three years of completion in Infosys your uh, ctc will be around 4.5 lpa and your enhanced salary will be around 3.32000 and you will be getting a 6 to 10 percent of high depends upon the uh, performance in the previous year so generally after four years uh, usually uh, it employee in infosys get a promotion into the it analyst okay so if you get the promotion of the, to the IT analyst then your hike will be around 25% which is a good uh, hike and your package will be around you will be getting in hand around 50,000 rupees salary else if you haven't got promoted to the IT analyst then also you will get a hike of 7 to 8% and your CTC will be 4.9% your in hand salary will be around 35,000 rupees after five years if you are working in Infosys for continuously five years after five years you will be getting a increment of 7.8% uh, 7 to 8% your CTC will become 5.35 LPA around your enhanced salary will be 38,000 to 40,000 and if you have promoted uh, to the IT analyst in the last year then your enhanced salary will be 55,000 if you haven't promoted last year to the IT analyst then there is a lot of chances that in the fifth year you will be getting a hike and you will be promoted to IT analyst uh, that will depend on your uh, performance also so you have to uh, keep learning things and you have to uh, doing the things in a great way you have to perform in a great way okay uh, along with all these uh, salary incentive and all those things there are shift allowance also if you if we talk about the shift allowance if you are doing a morning or afternoon shift then you are getting 250 rupees extra per hour and if you are doing a night shift then you are getting 400 rupees per hour for the night so working shift is around 9 hours to uh, 9 hours 15 minutes in the Infosys that allowance is all only provided if you are uh, working at night or in the morning shift so that uh, allowance will be provided to you uh, a lot of times I have generally seen and I have asked a lot of employees about this allowance also usually a lot of candidates do not get the allowance the night allowance uh, you will get a night allowance only if you are working uh, giving your working schedule your 9 hours 15 minutes so around 4 hours to 5 hours if you are working at night only then you will get the night allowance a lot of time what happens that uh, you are working in a day shift and you got a lot of pressure and you are working at night also that that then that will not be counted as a night shift okay uh, you are getting a day shift uh, charges and the uh, salary only so this is all about the salary structure of Infosys fresher employees who have joined Infosys if you have any queries about this video if you uh, didn't understand anything if you have any questions then you can write it in the comments below I will answer each and every one of you and uh, if you like this video please press that like button subscribe to this channel because I regularly upload a lot of videos on Infosys, TCS, Accenture and a lot of IT sector companies also uh, so subscribe to this channel press that bell icon so that you can never miss any video from this channel and have a nice day thank you for watching this video goodbye